Hello everybody, my name is Victor and today we're going to do our first tutorial on C++. Now the last uh, tutorial uh, I made was about the C program and I promise you that we're going to make a, a C++ version of that C program uh, wherein we added uh, two numbers, N1 plus N2. So today I'm going, I'm going to teach you how to do that in C++. And we're still using uh, code blocks for uh, the code blocks IDE for uh, the for our uh, C++ program. Let's begin, shall we? Now, the first thing you should do is the uh, the uh, uh, header codes or the header program, and we bring that out by using the include statement. IO stream. All right. Now the IO stream, the IO stream is actually uh, a program wherein we tell the computer that we're making use of the C in and the C out. What are those? I'll explain that later. Okay. Once we have our header files, uh, we need. Here's something that's really important, which is every C++ program should have, which is using namespace std. If you don't have this line of code, your program will not work at all. Now, after that, we need to put in int main. int main is something uh, the uh, computer will look for uh, when we do uh, uh, our program, you know, all the functions of this program. So that should be within uh, int main. And we need to do some opening brackets. Open, so we so we have our opening brackets and closing brackets. Within that, we need to declare our uh, our variables. Since we're adding two numbers, it's integer and one and n two. And since we need to uh, add them up, we need sum. Okay, so we need to be able to. Uh, uh, print a message on the screen or, or our console to uh, enter uh, a number since we're adding two numbers. So let's say C out. Okay, a C out is actually a printf and C program. So for C++ it's C out. And that's why, uh, that's the whole point of using the IO stream because without the IO stream we won't be able to use C out. Or C out or console output. So we put in enter the first number. End line. End line simply means next line. So uh, another way of putting it is either about using this forward slash n, but for C++ you can do this with ENDL or end line or the next line which means uh, after enter the first number the cursor will be on the next line which is right there now we need to be able to input the number so if we uh, try to input a number for uh, N1 uh, we should be able to uh, put that within the program so we need to put CN or console input Console input is the counterpart of scanf and C programming, but it's a lot more flexible because <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's a lot more flexible because we, we don't need to make a format for it. Wherein we have to put in for C, we need to put in uh, uh, percent %d, which is the uh, format for whole numbers. Here we simply put in n1 semicolon. That's it. That's how flexible C++ is. For C out. Okay, we need to enter our uh, second number. And then end line. I forgot to put a semicolon here. I'm just going to create an error. Oops, that's not it. There you go. Again, we need to we need to make an input. 
which is n2. Now we need to be able to add those two numbers, n1 and n2, so sum is equal to n1 plus n2. Now we need to be able to uh, print the output for that one, n1 plus n2, so the sum is the sum, okay, and then put that on the next line. Return 0 simply means that the program has no errors and we're now free to run the program. It's 0, not O. There you go. So let's try to run this baby. Uh, build and run. Always go for build and run because it, it will check for errors if we have any. And we do have errors. Hmm. Okay. Forgot to put the quotation uh, mark. My bad. My bad. See, that's how important the build and run is. It checks for errors. And we'll see if we have an error. Do we have an error? And we're still waiting for the console to come out. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Our console. Enter first number. Hmm, 45. Enter second number. 1. The sum is 46. There you go. Our program is successful. Press any key to end to continue. So there you go, folks. Our first program on C++. Uh, so um, I suggest you study this one. Uh, compare compare it with the C uh, program, which we did earlier. So that's how the, the that's the difference between the uh, C language and the C++. So uh, next time I'll be making another tutorial. I'm not sure what tutorial will that be. But for now, I want you to study the, the uh, difference between the C program and the C++. So yeah, if you study, so yeah, that's how uh, that's how it is with those uh, two language. Uh, so th thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. My name is Victor. See ya.